Bruce McMurray in the class of 1952. I think perhaps more notably, many of us know Mr. McMurray as a previous headmaster of the school and he served our school as headmaster from 1978 to 1997. Mr. McMurray attended King Edward from 1943 to 1952 and in his own words he said he was not a brilliant schoolboy. I personally find that hard to believe. He played whilst at King Edward the first and second 15 rugby and represented the A and B swimming teams. He was head of Davis House and he was officer commanding of the cadet detachment. Mr. Matt Murray, during his tenure as headmaster, was very instrumental in steering the school through a great period of change post-1994. Given that the success that we achieve today was very much due to the enormous contribution of this great educationist, Mr. Matt Murray.
now passed on. I'm the sole survivor, they have all died. And we miss them a lot. I'd briefly like to touch on this article that our fair friend Thea Guerin uh, mentioned, uh, wrote about last week, and congratulate those guys whose names were mentioned. And obviously, we hope Malcolm becomes the eighth rugby player to represent his country, and Shailen, the 27th cricketer, maybe the 28th if we can get Quinton the Cock in between, and Daniel, the 15th hockey international that comes from Spain. Interestingly, there have been over 200 international sportsmen produced by both schools, and all of them were in Anderson's house. <laughs> On the school itself, we are very privileged to be part of the King Edward's family, all of us here, parents, educators, boys themselves. You will realize it later on in life, this is part of an exclusive, international, worldwide, you could call it a brotherhood, and dwell on it, it's a lovely thought. I would also like to mention the part that Pep School plays in the school. You know, when we are six years old, horrid, smelly, unsocialized brats, the pep take us in and mold us, categorize us over the next six years, and then hand us over to this brilliant school. Because this is more than a school. It's an assembly line of achievers. And I just want to mention here, the reason why we succeed. We think we're such big deals, but there are a lot of people in the back, back room that help us. And I'm gonna mention them briefly, and I'm gonna ask you guys if you wouldn't mind paying a very small tribute to them. People like Darren Van Eden. If Darren was in, if this was in England, she would be not. <laughs> she put so much work into the school and it's quiet and behind and it's brilliant. But, please, it's not only that. The people that help us attain our achievements, prep school, high school, past, present, and future, governing bodies, parents associations, generous donors of time and money, passionate supporters, admin staff, maintenance staff, coaching staff, and these dearly respected, honored educators. The 21 headmasters that have been at the helm of these two schools over the last 110 years. And Mr. Lovett being the 22nd, and we wish him well, and we know he's gonna carry the ball. The ball's been passed, the baton's been passed on to him. I'm going to ask you folks at the back there, and you in the front, if you will represent the many hundreds of old boys that have passed through the school, the prep and the high school, past, present, and future. Let's raise the roof, it's a small tribute. Let's give those folks over the last hundred years and into the future. Join me, please. Let's give them three hearty cheers. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip!
Bladen has over the years accomplished a great deal in the ranking world, both as an administrator and a commentator. Mr. Bladen. Um, 
But I've no doubt in, uh, with the 2012 head boy standing here in 40 years' time, he's going to say to you all that 2012 was the best year ever. Because you know, King Edwards, every year is the best year ever, as you've heard of the achievements that the schools uh, made. And uh, when we all here, uh, the, the group that are having our 40th year, um, uh, we'll all be here together because it will be our 80th celebration. Because you've got to realize it's not that we're so old, it's just that all you guys out there are so young. Now, we, you, some of you come and uh, row at our river property and train. You always ask me, what was it like when we were here? Well, in a word, it was simple and it was slow. Um, there was no internet, there was no Twitter, there was no Facebook. Uh, it just got on. And in fact, if you were naughty and you, didn't, and you misbehaved, you'd just go into the prefix room and you'd get a little whack. And you'd come back and uh, there'd be no whining, there'd be no groping, you'd just get on with it. You know, you wouldn't be reported in child protection services. Uh, and, and in fact, um, in those days, those were the days when schoolboy pranks were schoolboy pranks. You know, we could climb into the tower and put our name in there. Um, today, you must probably be arrested and charged. <laughs> I find it amazing that today we can, I can stand here, I, I can take out my iPhone, I can take a picture, I can press send, and within seconds it's on my Facebook and it's around the world, and the whole world, thousands of people around the world will know that I'm here. I mean, to me, that's like a phenomenal advancement. Um, and so, you know, we live in this amazing era. I mean, we really do live in a great era. And I will tell you all, all your pupils, uh, that you're attending one of the great schools in South Africa, if not one of the great schools in the world. You're achieving an education that you have no idea what you're getting. You, you're learning so much more than about osmosis and about uh, quadratic equations. Um, what you, and as a result of that education, our 1972 group, just to mention, uh, Mr. McMurray has mentioned it, this group of old boys here has contributed to South African society in ways that you'll never understand. Just from our world class, we have world class artists like William Kentridge, legal minds like uh, Gilbert uh, Marcus, sports stars like Raymond Jennings, I can go on and on and on, and if you ever watch Al Jazeera TV, you'll see Mike Hanna as the anchor there, he was in our class. We spread around the world and we achieve great things as King Edward's old boys. Um, these guys are my friends today, they've been my friends for 40 years. And what you don't realize as youngsters going forward that the friends that you're making here are going to be your friends for life. And as the previous speaker mentioned, wherever you go in the world in the future, you'll be an old boy and you'll be part of this brotherhood. And as I think of my iPhone and I think about where I, where I started with and where I am today, I look out at you and I think what's going to happen to all of us in the next 40 years? Um, are we going to be teleported here? Are we going to have uh, this ability to just zoom around the world in instance? And I wonder what your contribution as young children uh, going through the process is going to be. But I do know one thing, and I will leave this with you, that this past week, not only did they publish, they published that wonderful article in the Star, they published the highlights of the uh, census that was taken last year, the 2011 census. And you may not know this, but right now we have a population of 51.7 million people in this country, which is a 7 million uh, increase uh, from the previous year, a uh, previous census at least. And that 51.7 million, of that 51.7 million people, 38% are between 16 and 35. And that is going to be the biggest influence on your life because that's the age group that you're going to be moving into as you leave the school. That's going to put tremendous, tremendous pressure on uh, the resources that we have in this country, such as water and electricity. And there's going to be a huge need for roads and hospitals and schools. And as that, uh, the population uh, begins to grow, um, that's going to be a challenge that you're going to face. We live in a democratic society today, and it's a hard fought democracy that we've got. But I want to just leave you with this thought as you go about uh, into the world. Democracy is not a spectator sport. So my request to all of you young people today is that as you go, that you involve yourself in the politics of this country. You become aware and you be engaged in what's happening around you. It doesn't count to vote every five years and to complain about cocktails every day. That's not being involved in politics. Get involved, get engaged. That's my request to you. And finally, on behalf of our group of 1972, I would like to pay respect to the educators that educated us um, who have passed on. And personally, I'd like to uh, special respect to Tommy Price, who had a huge influence on my life and passed away. He's in fact the module 
rowing coach that uh, coached the first black uh, gold medal rower ever. Um, and he's passed on, but he used to have a wonderful saying, and the saying was,